I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking to buy the cheapest and most reliable Madden coins on the market, head over to buymaddencoins.com. They guarantee a five minute delivery on all purchases and offer 24 7 customer support. Use code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's video we are continuing our weekend league series with episode 3 games 11 through 15. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm not even going to cut that out. I'm just going to keep that in there. Games 11 through 15 if you are just tuning in and this is your first episode. We are 9 and 1 going into game 11. But as always, before we get into the content, guys, we're going to go over the best and the worst comments of the day. The best comment of the day comes from Mark GH, a best comment veteran. He said, this dude literally always knows when I'm trying to find a YouTube video in bed. Perfectly timed uploads. We are team late night over here, baby. We don't sleep. I'm glad you're right there with me, Mark. I appreciate the comment. And the worst comment of the day comes from Q, who said, part two, how to avoid falling in a sinkhole and causing an earthquake. I've always considered myself an honorable man. I've managed multi-billion dollar companies, had sex with a small child, and won in multiple games of darts. You may ask, Ronald, what is the secret to your success? You know how I'm going to respond to you? I'm going to rub your feet and say thank you for being a piece of shit and a hindrance to my company. Geological studies prove that extraordinary results are the product of cows and donkeys having sex. Yes, a rather bleak concept, but the shit is all an understatement. I'm going to say this once. If you don't rub on my bum bum and make me moan, I'm going to buy the closest little tights basketball hoop and beat you over the head with it. Humbug. That is nonsensical and is an exploitation of the Constitution. I'm taking this case to Parliament. I'm not going to lie, guys. That took me like four takes to read. But what the fuck? Getting into the actual content, boys. Oh, that tastes like ass. I'm currently drinking a Four loco Seltzer. If you guys didn't know, I am the sovereign of seltzers. And this one has to be the worst I've tried. But we're going to keep pushing through. If you guys are drinking, it's a Thursday night. Drink along with me while you watch. Let me know in the comments as well what you're doing. Sit back and relax, baby. It's Weekend League. We are 9-1 and one going into Game 11. We get matched up with All Day MN8. Those are my top three right there. Michael Vick, Patrick Willis, Randy Moss. His top three also looking pretty fire. Sean Taylor and Bruce Smith at a 98 overall. He's starting out the ball in the Bills Color Rush uniforms. They look very Christmassy to me. Every time I see someone in these uniforms, I always think of Christmas just because they're all red. But we ended up holding him to three points on his first drive. It took up almost the entire first quarter, though, and we are going to have a much high-powered offense than him. Eric Dickerson getting to the outside with a huge gain. Also, this man has a huge dick. However, he did get ran down by Deion Sanders inside the 10-yard line at the 8, but we're giving it right back to him, and he's going to cut it up the middle. I don't care if you're there, Sean Taylor. You're going to miss with your user. If you see it right there, he just glitched out my man-to-man -man run defense. I made a video on this. If you guys didn't know how to do it, uh, it is in one of my videos. But because of that, he ends up taking it for 68 yards. It is a very effective run tip if you guys want to learn how to do that. Um, and it's very frustrating. As you guys can see, I was in man-to-man -man defense, and he completely glitched it out. Now I get the ball back, down by three, take a huge sack to make it a third and long, and I end up not converting and punting him. So he gets the ball back at the 34-yard line. We get him with a sack on third down, and he has to punt us the ball. And you're going to see what happens right here. Like I said, guys... This game was at 4 in the morning. I don't actually know if I said that, but it barely touched Deion Sanders' foot, and then he, like, did that. So, it like, touched off his toe or something, and I had, I didn't even click on that. was just the computer that did that, and it gave him the ball back. So, even though I got him to punt, he basically got the ball back. Thankfully, we got good defense. We, took a, we gave him a sack there on third and 10 paws, and hit him out of field goal range. So we end up having to punt us the ball. So he punts us the ball back um, and we end up going into halftime down. I take another big sack on third down pause and thankfully it wasn't a safety. We got tackled at the one yard line but we ended up having to punt the ball back and we get bailed out. Ryan Shazier coming off the edge gets a huge fumble. Ted Hendricks is there to pick it up and outruns Deshaun Watson and uh, George Kittle all the way for a defensive touchdown. If I can't get the job done on offense, I always know my defense will be there to pick it up. I am a defensive player. I I've come to terms with that I am officially a defensive player. Third and 15, he's going to roll out. Nothing was there. Got a little lucky, I'd say, on the playmaker to give him the first down. 
He's now second and 13 with a after that new set of downs. He's gonna throw a nice dot across the middle. Uh, beat my user there to get another new set of downs at the 23 yard line. We are up by four, three minutes to go. He's gonna throw a corner route. Bad read because Champ Bailey is there, finally making some plays for us uh, with basically what was a game clinching. Uh, Interception right there. We do have to make something happen on offense. So we're getting a third down about 250 left in the game Rolling out looking for somebody he leaves r1 Randy Moss right open on the sideline possession catch that and that is a dot for a first down now Two-minute warning. I know he's all out blitzing everybody because he's expecting a run We did not run though with two minutes left in the game I decided to pass it and we get George Kittle on the back of the end zone dot for a touchdown. He did not quit out after that, though. Even though we're up by two possessions with one minute left, he tries to, you know, force something into the end zone. Sean Taylor's there with the user. User lurk, baby. There we go. Let's take another sip. Again, if you're drinking along at home, take a sip right now. I command you. Pierre has conceded the game. We are now 10 and 1. Going into game 12. Guess what? We matched up with the same dude. Like I said before, it was 4 in the morning. There was probably about 10 people online total. And so I matched up with the same people quite often uh, he goes with Moss thankfully he decided to roll out with Deshaun Watson and run it and for some reason he did not go down and he fumbles on his first play of the game instead of throwing it up to Moss he ends up turning the ball over so that was probably really frustrating for him but I was thankful that he didn't throw the ball because Moss would have put his nuts all in my face we give the ball to Eric Dickerson who's gonna get a big gain down to the 18 yard line inside striking distance now third and goal we give it right back and he is just he's just the staple of my offense all right I know I talk about him a lot but if you guys don't have Eric Dickerson, there are solo challenges where you can get him for free. And he is by far the best player in the game. Fourth and one, he goes for it. We stuff the middle and end up turning the ball over inside his own territory. We didn't get anything on offense, so we have to kick our field goal. But it is two possessions nonetheless. Up 10 to 0 now uh, with his ball. Two minutes left in the first half. Rolling out nothing there. Patrick Willis, big Patty Willie. Coming in there with the sack, going to make it a third and long. He's dropping back once again, looking for something. No one is open. He lets a check and release go, throws it into coverage, and we should have got the user lurk there, but I'll take a, uh, a bat away ball, a batted away football. He's going to punt us the ball fourth and seven. I get absolutely bailed right here. That should have been an interception or at a minimum uh, him swatting the ball away, but we did get the first down and after that Randy Moss streaking down He didn't have a deep zone out there. So with 30 seconds left in the half I scored to go up 17 to 0 uh, Which was the the straw that broke the camel's back. We got the victory now We are 11 and 1 going into game 13 against mod 629 sketch. He's got another Deshaun Watson So we're gonna be going against Deshaun Watson once again, dropping back with Watson. He is the Vikings. Throws a wheel route. Christian Okoye going to say, Champ Bailey, get the fuck off me. Oh, juked out of your socks. And boom, hit sticks. That's why you got to be careful juking Sean Taylor because he'll, he'll hit stick your face off. But anyways, we ended up holding him inside field goal range. And he gets the three points. So he's on the board first. Three to zero. My ball. I hand it off to Eric, the big, huge, veiny, throbbing cock. Dickerson. Spin inside, get to the outside. He is fast, and he's going to score there, baby. 3-2-7. Quick, quick points by me. Didn't have to do any work besides a little stick work. Uh, and he's going to try to throw it. Force it there over the middle. Sean Taylor is there with the user lurk. Going to grab that one and turn the ball over. Now we're up four with the ball. Guess where I'm going? Backside slant to Terrell Owens who's going to get us inside his distance. And we get held. Offense stalled out. But we're going to take our three. Going to give us a full touchdown lead. We also get the ball at half. So with about four minutes left in the first half, if we get a stop here, things are going to be looking pretty good. Third and nine. He's throwing, going double slants with the wheel route. Very terrible route concept somehow it works Randy Moss gonna get a user playmaker and take it for like 45 yards into across midfield on into the 41 from here he's gonna hand it off to his Eric Dickerson get to the outside and terrible user by me let I let him get to the outside there I should I should have contained better with my user um, but anyways that gives him the three points he was looking for so with one minute left we are up by four we get the ball at half if we can put points on the board right here I will be happy Guess where we're going? It's no secret. Eric Dickerson gets to the outside. Once again, he's still glowing. His X Factor is still glowing. He gets all the way to the 37. Five rushes for 58 yards and a touchdown. This dude is unbelievable. With seven seconds left, we kick our field goal to make it uh, to keep it a seven-point game. So now we're up seven points with the ball. Go back right to Eric Dickerson. He is a little bit too fast, man. You guys probably get sick of seeing the same uh, the same highlight reel every goddamn time. It's Eric Dickerson taking off to the outside and making people making people miss. But like I said, guys, I'm switching to a hot route master, so I will be passing the ball a lot more uh, in the coming weeks. 
He throws it up on 4th and 11. I'm up by 14 right here. Turns the ball over on downs, and that is going to give us the victory. Pierre has conceded the game. We are now 12-1 and one going into game 14. And guess what, guys? It is 4 in the morning, if I didn't already tell you. Going against the same guy, uh, we get matched up again. Like I said, there was probably only like 10 people on. This guy messaged me after and said he was kind of pissed we matched up again. I don't blame him, uh, but second and five, he's rolling out. Playmakers up, gets a nice playmaker right there to get across midfield to the 43-yard line. He's now two for two for about 50-something yards. Right after that goes to a post route, and that is open. I should have been there with my user. Terrible user by me. Um, that was my zone. I completely let him get open there then he throws a screen and whoop Randy Moss absolutely makes Champ Bailey look stupid so the same team which last game didn't even score a touchdown the entire game I don't think comes out on their first drive a beautiful drive to put up seven points and is going to make me have to do something on offense thankfully Deion Sanders got us a kick start with that kick return and then I throw it up to Moss who just nuts in your face suck my dick I'm going to catch the ball no matter what I am sorry I deeply apologize for everything that I've done with the Moss ability, but I just can't stop using it. It's like I'm an addict, all right? I'm going to go on, like, my true my true life on TLC or whatever. I'm addicted to throwing throwing Moss, to putting Randy Moss's nuts in people's face. That's what I'm addicted to, all right? Everyone has their thing. Don't judge me. 7-7, seven to seven, his ball. One minute left in the first half. We get a huge sack right there. And you guys are going to see something in this game. We just both went back and forth. Third and 20. Sack after sack after sack. He tries to roll out sack again. It was like punting back and forth. We weren't even turning the ball over very much. Just punting it back and forth. With 10 seconds left in the first half, I drop back with Michael Vick. Going to throw it uh, and get Christian Quay, who's absolutely going to fight for me. Get to the 40-yard line and put us in field goal range to give us the three points with one second left in the first half. That was absolutely beautiful. So starting off the second half, we're up 10-7, to 7, up by 3. Of course, we take a sack. Like I said, we're going to punt him the ball. And then he gets in a third and 18. And then well, what do you know? He's going to throw it into coverage. Nothing's there. This is this is a battle of the defenses, all right? Tipped interception for Champ Bailey. Thank you for making plays for me, buddy. But this is a battle of the defense. Whoever's defense can score more points is essentially how, how they're going to win this game. Michael Vick run out. Look at this dude. This dude's a magician. I have the audacity to say I'm going to replace him. I don't know, man. When I see him do stuff like that, it makes me want to keep him. Regardless, third and 15, I can't make anything happen. And Michael Vick gets his tits blown off and, and gives up the ball. Going to make it a fourth and long. Thankfully, we recovered it with our O-line, and we're going to punt the ball away. But again, it's his ball. He's down three. He throws this wheel route. I thought I was there with Sean T. I don't know what kind of animation that was. But uh, he gets to live to fight another day. Third and 10, he runs stretch and gets to the outside. Eric Dickerson going to take off, man. That's the only way you can really score in this game is with an Eric Dickerson. So if you don't have one, go get one. I'm the big. I'm a salesman. I'm an Eric Dickerson salesman. If that was my job, I would make a fuck ton of commission because I would sell a shit ton of Eric Dickersons. Regardless, I am getting off topic here. 10 to 14, he scored a touchdown right there by running the ball with Bo Jackson. Boom, dot on the sideline, Randy Moss. Absolute laser. I was actually really surprised I completed that. I thought his guys would have closed it and intercepted. Third and 10, I decided to throw a wheel route on the sideline. It was a cover two. It was a, just didn't have enough field there. Um, so he bats it away. Almost was intercepted. Fourth and 10, 37 seconds left. I need a touchdown here. I had the open in route. I threw it way too late and throw an interception to, interception to lose the game. I'm going to show a replay here. Look at Square on the in route. It was a great route concept. It worked. I just threw it way too late. Caused the middle quarter to be able to drive down and intercept that. If I would have thrown that earlier, it would have completed the ball and probably scored. So now we got a, our second loss of the weekend to the guy that I just showed I could have beat. But thankfully, our next game, we matched up against Daddy Smith 6. Uh, his team, not... Not on the same level. You know, I'm never going to hate on someone for not having a good team because I, I know people got a lot of stuff going on in their life. But in Weekend League, um, it's just tough to compete if your team isn't up to that top tier. So Daddy Smith, he's got Mohamed Sanu at quarterback out of position. Uh, takes a sack on first down. You saw I scored on my first play with Eric Dixon. Second down, or third and 18, here it is. He's rolling out with Sanu. Uh, dropping back, throws it. Jam Bailey is there with the interception. We're going to pick it off in his territory, take it in. Get a nice return back, so we get an interception down to 17, and Daddy did not want any more of that. So that was uh, uh, the rage quit there. 13 wins, 2 losses through our first 15 games. Uh, next episode probably coming out tomorrow. I'm going to try to get out two videos tomorrow. Not two weekend league videos. I will do one weekend league videos and potentially a tip video. So if you got, you guys have been asking for a lot of tip videos in the comments and stuff, so it's either going to be 
I don't know if it's what if it's gonna be a glitches one or if, if I'm gonna do some offense out of the Raiders offense. Uh, let me know in the comments. Actually, it would be great. Let me know in the comments what you guys would rather see. Would you rather guys see part two of the glitches in Madden 20, or would you guys rather see some Oakland Raiders offensive tips? If you guys liked the video, also be sure to leave a like on it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.